Time now for sports on SSP TV News. We have Dave Day on a special day. That's because Dave was in Delaware last night. Now, Dave, usually when our director, Andy Fisher, goes down to Delaware, it's for the Dogfish Head Brewery. You were there for a different reason. Hazel Tenaria Cougar basketball playing in the Concord Classic in the first state, taking on the number one ranked team in Delaware in Mount Pleasant. And they win on a buzzer beater. And it wasn't just a buzzer beater, Dave. This was really an impressive play from Josh Samick. And he puts in the three right at the end off of a block shot from Michael Casadas. Um, Hazleton's played some big time games this year, Dave, against some big time teams. I like the front page of the Standard Speaker. Little T said, um, Delaware State champs with kind of a question mark. It's a non league game. You don't win a title for this, but put it in perspective, how big of a win is this for Hazleton area? I think it's a big win from the, the, the fact once they get back in the Valley Conference play, you're not going to see a, a team at, as talented as Mount Pleasant was. Uh, the Cougars were able to maintain their composure. Uh, in, a, in a tough environment against a team that uh, really, really forced them out of their element a little bit. A lot of shots weren't falling. Uh, they got down by nine points. Then again, they got down by nine points against Grant and Prep, too, and they were able to bounce back in that game before losing. So the Cougars have shown some resiliency all year long. So when you get put to the test like that uh, in a tough environment against a top caliber team, uh, it's only going to bode well for the future. Great celebration at the end, too, showing the video with Mike Joseph running across the court. You pointed him out to me in his, uh, I think, pink shirt there. And they talked about Josh Samick, who hit that last shot. Talked, him a, talked a lot about it in your article, Dave, where Coach Joseph said he was pushing him during the game. Um, you know, take more shots, take more shots. And you pointed out, I think, in the article, too, that he missed a big one against Granton Prep. Comes back, and it was contested when he went for that rebound. There was, it looked like a Mount Pleasant player had a chance at the ball. He grabbed it, and really, I think, with one foot, made, made the shot there. Yeah, uh, uh, Josh has does have the knack. He does have a very very, very quick release on his shot, too. And uh, like Coach Joseph said, his footwork is very good, too. He had the presence of mind to hop behind the three-point line, and he's among the, uh, the Cougars' leading three-point shooters. Uh, not a, the quick release, but uh, he, he put such a nice arch on the ball, too. And uh, there was no way it was going to be blocked. It was just a matter of if it was going in. And uh, like Coach said, it, it looked pure on the way in. And uh, when it switched in, uh, it was just like, was there enough time? Because the scoreboard was on the other side of the wall, too. So uh, even the coach from the other team, uh, Mount Pleasant, Lisa Sullivan, said, was that shot good? And uh, we said, we didn't see the scoreboard. We were watching the play. Uh, and then the, the officials huddled to see if it was, in, in fact, good. And uh, after about a minute or so, and uh, I think a bunch of Hazleton people were ready to storm the court and jump the, the officials if they didn't call that basket good. But uh, fortunately for the Hazleton area uh, team and their fans, uh, it was what's ruled good. <laughs> Dave, every now and then, and I'm guilty of this, I'll watch a game mindlessly, and you don't think about maybe what's going through the players' minds and how they're constantly thinking, how much work they put into it. And Sam said, listen, I was running to that point because I knew if, Cassatt, if Michael missed it, I want to be over there for the rebound. So there's a lot that goes into the game. And no rest for the Cougars. They will play GAR in a league game at home tonight. Dave Steven will have the coverage of that one. Dave, there was a great story recently Eric Schultz wrote about Jimmy Hoffman, um, Hazel Tenary wrestler in the newspaper, about um, his grandfather passing away. And again, speaking about um, not realizing what these athletes go through sometimes during the whole time he was up winning I forget I think it was the Sheets Classic or one of the big tournaments he was in had to deal with his grandfather passing and all the emotions of that and a guy who really supported that Hazleton area wrestling program what struck you from that article was it the Sheets or was it the Wyoming Valley Conference Championship it was the Wyoming Valley Conference That's Championships too uh, yeah it just it puts sports into perspective too uh, you, you get a kid here who's uh, among the top in the state he's been that way for the past few seasons vying for a state championship vying for conference championships and uh uh, just to have the, you know, the, another kid with the presence of mind, not to, 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 to be in the moment there where it's uh, difficult for the family. He knows how difficult it is, uh, an important person in his life. And uh, uh, again, why we watch sports, you know, yeah, to see the wins and the losses and everything too, but what drives these athletes too and the, the people behind them too, the people that support them through all their endeavors, all their competitions. And uh, like Jimmy said, he's been with them through uh, tournaments, uh, you know, out of season tournaments, out of state and uh, supporting with, uh, you know, monetary and it just, it just his physical support. Now he's going to offer Jimmy spiritual support. And uh, that, 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 that's a strong combination for a, a, a wrestler and uh, to have some, you know, motivation. Obviously Jimmy wants to win the States uh, for his own reason, but now he has a, like he said, like an angel on his shoulder watching him. Dave, let's close with the NFL. Big games this weekend, Falcons, Packers. Can anyone stop Aaron Rodgers when he's playing like this right now? Matt Ryan, though, no slouch himself. I, I think uh, we've got to watch Aaron Rodgers if he has Jordy Nelson. If he has Jordy Nelson, I think the Packers are going to be okay scoring points. 
Will they be able to stop Atlanta, though? I think Atlanta's the team that's been under the radar more than anybody this year. They may have lost some games midway through the season, but uh, Atlanta's a, a very, very good team. Matt Ryan having an, an outstanding season, uh, an outstanding quarterback in his own right. And uh, something tells me that the Falcons are due to get back to the Super Bowl for the first time since when, 1998. Uh, and and I, I just think Pittsburgh's on a mission this year, too. I, I think Pittsburgh goes into New England, beats the, beats the Patriots this year. Uh, we're going to have a, a Pittsburgh-Atlanta Super Bowl, and uh, may the best team win. It's going to be interesting with those Patriots, because they really want to win, too, Dave, after Deflategate and everything that happened with, like, nothing more than to be lifting the Vince Lombardi Trophy. Dave was here on a Tuesday. Make sure you read his article tomorrow morning in the Standard Speaker. He'll have more coverage of that great Hazleton area basketball team. Before we go to break, Kenny wanted to say thank you to Patrick O'Donnell from, for the video from the Hazleton area win over Mount Pleasant in Delaware. Patrick's a comedian, and you can check out his work at patrickodonnellcomedy.com. He also performs regularly at Cove Haven Resorts in the Poconos and stops by Wisecrackers Comedy Clubs. Check them out at wisecrackers.biz. Check him out, laugh a bit, maybe talk some basketball with him. Thanks again, Patrick. And now our social report on SSPTV News.